Hey, it's Bitburner and I'm back. I wanted to make another MAME video. It's been a long time since the other one, um, and this one's in high definition. <laughs> so um, I wanted to clear up some things, and maybe I, you know, kind of left some things out of the other video and had to do a lot of explanation in the in the in the comments. And hopefully this one won't need as much explanation, and you'll find out real quick maybe if the game you're wanting to play works or not, or whether you're, you know, barking up the wrong tree or something. Um, things have changed since since I made that video, the um, the other main video. If you haven't checked it out, that's okay. Watch this one. Um, and I knew it would. The the project changes a lot. Um, I went to the uh, emulator zone. Basically, I just typed in MAME uh, emulator on Google, and this was the first page that came up, which is the emulator zone, which is a pretty cool site. They got a lot of stuff here. And here's the command line version, which I don't want. I want the... Uh, UI version, and I got the 64-bit since I have a 64-bit system, um, but you can get the 32-bit if you have like what, Windows XP or something. Um, then I downloaded, and that's, I um, compressed it and all that stuff, so there it is. It made a bunch of folders. There's the actual program, okay? And really what I'm after here is this ROMs folder, so I'm going to actually keep this ROMs folder open over here. Now, what I did is I downloaded this Galaga ROM for Midway, I mean, look at this. Uh, uh, there's one, two, three, four Galaga named uh, ROMs here. Um, I'm on ROM Nation. I just look for um, um, MAME ROMs on um, on Google, and it brought me here. And so I downloaded this one. I downloaded this one because I, I really want to make a point with this. Okay. So um, um, so I'll move this for now. Here we are. We've got our ROMs folder. Here's our ROMs, Galaga and the Galaga Midway. See how it has MW at the end of this one? Galaga and Galaga Midway. So I'm going to put Galaga Midway in the ROMs folder. And I'm not going to even audit my ROMs. You know, my ROM, that would actually tell me which ones are going to work and which ones aren't going to work um, in a big list. And I can fix them and go gather the files. And there's actually tools that will help you do that that I've talked about in the forums. Um, I'm not going to talk about them right now because they're pretty extensive tools and they're really somewhat difficult to actually um, kind of use. But um, right now I just want to demonstrate this basic part of, of how these ROMs work. See how Galaga here is the top? And this is the actual directory name. Now, now think about that zip file is the directory name. So if it had, had appended a, a little one at the end of your zip file, it's not going to work. It needs to be named Galaga. Also, Galaga, uh, the MW, is the midway one. And that is, um, look, at underneath this Galaga. So that Galaga is dependent on this one. If I just put that one in there and try to run it, um, it's going to ask me to have... Um, parts of this ROM. See, I get an error, which is a, basically a bunch of parts of this ROM, and see, these are actually ROM files here, and these are actually some, some bin files, and I'll go into that in a second. Now, I know that because I've just dealt with this a long time, but um, you, you can tell by, if you just got one that's underneath one of these, and you didn't get the root, then you're, it's not going to work. You need this root ROM for any of the ones underneath it to work. Okay, so I need to get the ROM that's actually called Galaga, and here it is. And when I downloaded it, I had something else in the folder called Galaga.zip, I guess, and it appended a 1 on the end and stuff, so I had to fix it or it wouldn't work. All right, now it's still not going to work because there's a missing piece, and I'm going to show you. You're back at my main UI. Back in the, if you want to get to Galaga real quick, you just type Galaga here and it'll go to here, whatever ROM you put in here. Now watch out. Some ROMs need extra files, and this is what I'm talking about here with the ROM BIOSes. Sometimes they also need something called CHD files, which is compressed hard disks. And uh, so compressed hard disks are basically an image of a hard disk that was in the arcade machine because not everything fit in the ROMs. This is usually those newer arcade games like... Um, uh, something something like Mortal Kombat, which a lot of people want to have, and they don't put the CHDs usually on a website because they're huge. They have a lot of content on them, and they that would suck up their bandwidth. And so you'll really have to hunt maybe through on torrent sites and stuff to find uh, current CHDs and things like that of like newer arcade games. All right. So all right, I've got my Galaga and I've got this, but when I try to launch even the real Galaga, it asks me for these last two. I've got the root. Um, ROM, right? I've got the real Galaga in there, but it's these two things are left over. Well, those should, I need these, whatever they are. Well, 
knowing that I have the root ROM, the next logical thing for me is that there is a, a main BIOS that's, that it needs. Okay, so main BIOSes are just basically ROMs that are included in the ROMs folder that are kind of um, um, are, are like an engine to any of the uh, any of the the games. So you know, if you look on here. Uh, Namco 5.1 and 5.4, which are the ones we needed, are in here, and these are basically just the BIOSes of the of the um, PCBs and stuff that they they um, uh, they came out of, right? And so there's different ones. There's more Namco systems. What I did is I just downloaded all these and put them in my um, ROMs folder. Um, but right right now, just for um, the sake of this, we just needed the 5.1 and the 5.4. That's what that error said. So I downloaded those right here, the five, Namco 5.1 and 5.4, and I put those in here. Now, not only will Galaga work because I have the dependent BIOS files, but because I have the root Galaga, this also Galaga Midway will work. Okay, so I'll go ahead and launch even the Galaga Midway now. So I, I could have launched the Gal regular Galaga, that would have worked. This is the Midway Edition. I'll say OK to these. I just type OK on my keyboard. 5, 6, 7, and 8 are the 1-player, 2-player, 3-player, 4-player coin slots. And 1, 2, 3, 4 are the 1-player, 2-player, 3-player, 4-player start. Tilde is the volume, and Tab is your inputs. Now, those inputs you can also change in your graphical user interface by right-clicking. Um, like, I made this play in a window so I could record it by right-clicking on it um, and and choosing um, play in a window instead of full screen. Normally it would go full screen here. So let me put some quarters in. And I'm going to hit one here. And by default, I think for this game, control is fire. And uh, arrow keys, let me back and forth. So there you go. So I'm playing Galaga for free. Yeah, all right. So I hope that helps clear up um, how this ROMs works. I know I got a lot of confusion from this. Um, notice I didn't even audit all the games. Audit all the games will really tell me and help me categorize in here which ones are working, which ones are not working, which ones uh, are available. And so you can see um, there's over 18,649 games that will actually work in here. Like I said, my collection is about 7,000 games. And um, um, so my the my actual main and I can't find my actual main folder. It's somewhere on my system, but I'm gonna find it here pretty soon. I'll make a video showing all the uh, some of the games that I do. I plan to actually do a live stream um, of me playing a bunch of games. Um, if you guys want to check it out, I'm on twitch.tv forward slash pitburner. So hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope that clears up, and I hope you guys are able to get the ROM that you want to play. You know, they don't all work on there, so sorry, but it's, you know, it's a public project. They, a lot of people just invest their own personal time to try and get maybe the game that they want to work, and they just have the skills to do it, but we get to reap the benefits and enjoy it. So, hey, man, I uh, hope you like that. Um, there is another um, there is another alternative out there. Dang, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, look in the description. I'll put some links. There's other alternatives, like other front ends for MAME that might be a little bit easier than this, uh, like a 3D arcade and stuff like that, that uh, maybe, you'll, maybe you guys will find a little bit easier. Uh, you'll still have to use the same kind of ROM setup because whatever you use will still be dependent on uh, ROM. So, hey, guys, have a good one, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Have fun. Bye.